Hey, so today I will be drawing in all of my art styles to celebrate one year of being on YouTube. So this first art style is when I really started to get back into art. I wanted to try to find my own art style because I've been trying to do that for years on end, but ending up just giving up. So this art style I eventually found after looking at a bunch of other artists' work and combining it to find something that I could use. So this art style is really heavily focused on the eyes, and the eyes and eyebrows are actually the only features on the face. I made the decision to just have eyes and eyebrows on the face because I didn't really want this art style to be heavily focused on the face itself, I actually wanted it to be more focused on the body and the accessories that I put on the characters. And of course it is like this because I didn't really have the time or really want to put in the time to try to figure out how a nose or mouth would actually work out with this art style. So it was kind of the mix of both those reasons. But this art style, I really liked but I ended up changing it to the next one because I couldn't picture, like, I can't do any other expressions with this art style. I can really just do the front view with the same expression, just with different outfits and clothes. While this is cute, I just didn't really think it was that practical and not that fun to draw in. So then I made this next art style. This next art style had a more elongated face and just more elongated features in general. And this helped me to add a little more expression to the characters. And the only thing that actually stayed the same with this art style was the lack of ears, how I did the hair, and the eyebrows, really. But everything else I changed in some way or another. This art style I wanted to be a little more complex so I could be a better artist and prove that I can draw things that really aren't just the same. Although I really dig it with this art style, The way I did shading kind of stayed the same, and same with coloring, and even though I can't really show it in this video, I did actually add like more dull colors, while with the other art style, since it was more heavily focused on the outfits, I did brighter colors. This one was more focused on the face, so I did a little bit more dull colors. And this brings me to the next art style, which you will recognize the same exact eyes as the first one, because I actually really liked those eyes, and that is why I brought them back for this art style. For this style, I did actually have a mouth, but no nose, sadly style really is just the same as the first one, except with a longer face and a mouth added. This is because I actually really liked the first style better than the second one, so I decided just to bring it back, but in a way where I could add more expression to it. And this art style I actually really like and I used it for a really long time. I personally think that this remake is not better than the original first style because I think that the first style is just cuter and the way that it was drawn I felt so comfortable with it because that first style was used in like half of my first sketchbook so I grew really comfortable with that style and that's why I didn't really change much within these first three and you'll see really even with the first four. So that's really all I have to say about this third style. 
everything really was just the same as the first one, except with a mouth. But this leads me into the next art style. This next art style really did actually have way more expression to it, because as you can see, I actually had a nose. So what was actually kind of neat with this art style was I evolved from having no nose at all to a little bit more of a realistic nose. And I chose to have this more realistic nose because I thought that it could kind of just give a break from the extremely cartoony and giant eyes. And that's kind of why I made everything else in this art style a little more realistic. What's also really nice about this art style is that I added ears. This was actually the first art style that I had that I added ears to, so that's also pretty neat about this style. And I also really, 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 really love this style because it almost took up an entire sketchbook. An entire sketchbook was one and the same art style, which was actually pretty cool because I changed my art style a lot, as you can see, because this is really in just two sketchbooks I've had four art styles so far, which means three of them were in the same sketchbook. But this leads me on to the next art style. So this next art style is where I actually, honestly, finally removed those eyes. I tried to create a little bit more of a realistic appearance because if it looks a little bit more like a person you can add more expressions and also a tip and a reason why I change my art style so much is because I think that if your art style if you can picture your art style in a cartoon moving around with all different expressions then well done you've done a nice job you have a very fluid art style that can look like whatever you want it to look like and can have all the expressions you could ever want your characters to have. So that's what I kind of tried to achieve with this art style and why it isn't as cartoony as the other ones. It is a little bit more human-like if that makes sense. When I go back and I look at some art I did, it's uh, you can tell that the art has a lot more emotion because, mostly because of the eyes, honestly, because the eyes, depending how you draw them, can really lead to more emotions that can be unlocked. Okay, so this leads me to my current art style. My current art style brought back those big eyes and these eyes. Thank you. 
so with this art style i just feel like it really encapsulates what i was trying to do this whole time and you can really see how big of a difference it was from the first one to this art style and i feel like i've been on a really good journey of trying to find art styles that i think really fit and just so you know there are lots of other little art styles i went through but i didn't include with this video or really on camera at all because i just didn't really think that they were the one and i didn't really use them that often i'm excited to see where art will take me next and what other art styles I can develop. Also, just so you know, I will be trying to put out some more full-length videos like this on the channel. And you can comment if you want me to do something specifically. But other than that, that's all I have to say. And thank you for watching. And make sure to check out some of the other videos on this channel.